society was changing so rapidly, I had the idea that I wanted to make our characters uncomfortable, a challenge to their certainty. Life at Nanata's house has always been about service and I do think there are times when they feel as though they are not able to offer the service that they would like to. The systems aren't necessarily there to support them. I think that is something we see happening in the present day. In the series we get a wider worldview. A lot of the old East End was being demolished and new bits were being built so it's kind of a bit of a dawn of a new era in a way. Good morning. What year was this place built? 1860 I believe. May I ask what you're doing? Council survey, slum clearance. Are we going inside? No need. I'll be taking it down soon. Nanata's house itself comes under threat. It absolutely reflects what was happening in the mid-1960s in London. What Hitler didn't manage to finish off, the town planners were carrying on with. There are buildings being knocked down. The landscape is becoming unrecognisable, and that goes hand in hand with massive changes in society. Flaming wrecking balls have been going all afternoon. Just rest for the moment. The circumstances are getting to a point where they're beginning to influence uh, what happens at Nanata's house. Changes with Poplar. There are changes on the street next door as things begin to come down. The midwifery is in a different place. A lot of women prefer to have a hospital birth. It's a matter of finding the place in the new world for Nanata's house. All of those sort of small cottage hospital-y type of things, they're beginning to run up against bigger and bigger hospitals, they're centralising a lot of things, hospitalising childbirth more and more. And so it is a challenge, the things that they've built are going to be, you know, they're going to have to defend them. The council have notified us that the whole of the street is to be demolished within the next two years, and an artist's house will be demolished with it. Tell no one. Every year when I start to plan my stories for the new series, Series 9 in this case, I go into medical archives. One of the things I find very interesting and indeed very moving is when I started writing Call the Midwife, we would have TB stories, we would have polio stories. Now, in 1965, I can't tell polio stories and I can't tell TB stories because they did not exist. At that time, they were being stamped out. Sir Winston Churchill, Britain's Prime Minister during World War II, has died at his home in London's Hyde Park Gate at the age of 90. Certainly one of my favourite moments from this series is the funeral of Winston Churchill. The way all of our characters, our regular characters, go to watch his cortege passing by that somehow for me symbolises what's happening in the show itself. We are passing from the old world to the new.